full sentry ward up, so you know you you kind of want to make sure it's not gonna get dewarded, <coughs> which is fine. And now he's actually gonna get glimpsed back to the fray as they want to be able to kill him level one. So this is uh, Elements going a little bit aggressive and taking the whole team down here. Now off Sayak is going to be the blocking tool as they're going to be punishing that Bristleback with the instant level up of the Glimpse. Knowing that you're going to be able to set up the kill, the Shrek on point, getting that stun off. The Shrek up against the DP matchup. Um, DP is probably going to be the one who's favored in this situation. But um, that's only for the first couple of levels because DP can't really run at the mesh. Um, that easily in the top now we do have Flokum ultra aggressive he's gonna be able to get the kill onto onto the um, slaughter but Sidoy will get the kill first as uh, he's gonna kill the bad runner and then die afterwards so oh med pump maybe in treble flow he's he's just super aggressive going for the sticky napalm spam and he's gonna be following him to the grave as he is definitely gonna drop down and now meanwhile in the mid lane Tamar while trying to escape the split earth is available they're gonna go for it. it's gonna miss but they're gonna do as much damage as possible maybe killing him they're going super deep but that is not gonna be the case he's gonna survive flow is not gonna get punished though as uh, they don't have any comeback potential without the spirit siphons oh and in the mid lane Speak of punishment, the Riki coming in from the side and, <coughs> and will get the Alright, the early value point in the Pulse Nova from the Lesh Rack, so they really want to be able to set up this gang. As they're gonna go in, the Split Earth will hit and they're gonna go deep. They're gonna go for the kill on Tamar Wild and the value point is gonna already pay off as they do get the kill onto the DP in the mid lane and the Lesh Rack doing that damage and now flow in the top lane trying to burn the creep wave trying to try to get kills kind of stop happening it feels like flipside is going to be the ones who's uh, getting a little bit more out of the map but uh, we'll see if elements can keep up the kills and uh, that is going to be the mission take my wild in the mid lane may be in danger as they're going to go on him they're going to try and do as much damage as possible diabolic eating pulse lover doing the work van score dropping down as the first one and the second one is going to be the dp as a uh, pikachu man I was talking about the ledge frag. Once you get on top of the IO, the IO just disappears. Healing from the spirit siphon pretty much outdoes the damage from the pulse nova level one. So uh, he, he he can't rely on that. He needs all of the spells in conjunction to be able to kill Tame My Wild, not just the uh, one or the other. Now Mepham rotating around trying to go get a kill onto the Lich Rag, but he's taking so much damage. He's gonna be the one dropping down. And now Pikachu going for the Spit Earth, not gonna be needed as he's just pulsing people to the ground. One more dead and one more dead. As Pikachu together with the Ricky and the Bad Rider rotating in, it's gonna get three kills in the mid lane. Trying to kill Pikachu early on. This this goddamn bursting mission. He's going to be following him down. He does have a little bit more to work with with the sticky napalm, but he's going to be going away as Vanskog comes in and uh, will heal Mephim up. So that's going to be the last Oasis. Obviously, not the biggest cooldown in the world, but uh, it is something. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, the track going deep onto Tamar Wild will we'll get the kill yet again. Unstoppable streak on the lash and the uh, van skull tp to the top lane to help Mepa means that he can't tp to the mid lane and help his mid so that's gonna be not gonna be the case this time around Sidon in the mid lane does have that blink deck up and available meaning that he has his armor blink up and ready he's gonna go in trying to do something to get you in the mid lane he's gonna get stunned up double stun from the swiveling crush team while well. getting static stunned up taking a lot of damage his exorcism isn't gonna be popped yet as he's gonna drop down with the Aegis getting used van skull is dead as well we do have the Stone Gaze coming out, Slasher is going to get stunned up, Pikachu doing a lot of damage, doing so much work, and now Sidoy trying to escape, he gets the blink away, and now Tamer while getting hunted down, they want to be able to kill someone, and that's going to be the Ricky, the first one to drop down, Exorcism getting used, Flo dropping down as the second one, maybe the Sayek as the third one, as Tamer while is going deep, and now it's going to be Pikachu plus Riol against the world, Pikachu, and him gets the first kill onto the DP, now it's Pikachu alone together with Riol, almost dead, so close, oh and he survives! With 10 HP, one more hit would have done the trick as Dress Rack makes a fucking winning dance. And he's got to be happy with how that went, went out. They got uh, with the Uncane Boots obviously being picked up as well. Um, so he can sustain the mana. And the uh, mechanism on him, obviously a great item. As he wants to be able to be that unstoppable power. And now in the mid lane, we do have mass TPs coming in. With the Glimmer's back onto Tamer Wild. He's going to get stuck into the Static Stone. Metam going for the swap away and relocate safe for Vanskull coming out. 
Now Slash Low is going to be sent back in and they dead. Slash Low most likely. But he's doing a lot of damage in the meantime with, with their back turn to them. And he's going to be finally dropping down. No one dying from the side of Elements from the backstabs. Now Vanskog coming back into the mid lane. After the relocate save was used, he's going to be the one dropping down as Leshrak is going to get another Bloodstone charge from that. Well, this is happening though, Medusa coming in, trying to contest a little bit, will pop his ultimate, and it's going to be a full-on fight as the Exorcism has been committed by Tamar Wild, now Mepha will be dragged back, not going to be able to do anything in the fight this time around as the last is going to keep him out of the fight, but we do have the Static Storm Stone to keep away from Flipside, but the Disruptor is going to be the first one dropping down, the Leshrag trying to do as much as he can, he does have the Eel set available as well now, but he doesn't want to go into the Exorcism, and in the meantime we do have the Ricky dropping down the back lines, as the... Uh, Tamar Wild is going to get a much needed double kill his way. Now they're going to fight after all. As a flip side, they want to be going for as many order items as possible just to be able to fight now because they don't want to wait too much time. And now, Elements with this smoke rotation going in, finding Slasho. That's a that's a big kill if they can get it. He's actually going to get glimpsed back as Flo. He gives them the vision and now the Lasso is going to be still on cooldown, but Flo is just going to be burning them away. And oh, so much damage coming from the back, from the quills or from the backstabs. But um, not going to be enough to bring them down. And now Pikachu popping a defensive ghost up, trying to stay alive. He knows that he's going to be in danger. He doesn't want to drop down, even though he has so many bust and charges. He's going to be using himself up. Pikachu trying to run away. As uh, Flo is going to be doing exactly the same thing, he's going to be getting ill up by the DP, and now Lasso will come up, he does have the blink deck available, we'll go for the blink away, and that's going to be him potentially fine. So a 2 for 1 trade, Pikachu is still surviving. He has blink armored BKB at 23 minutes into the game. It, I mean, as a safe lane, obviously, it is the kind of farm you expect, but Aslala is such a horrible hero at farming. So he's been doing a good job, but now in the meantime, we're doing Tamer Wild, getting lassoed up. No swap is available as Metpum gets gone, and he's gonna get uh, Smoke Cloud up by the Ricky. A very nice initiation, and now DP is gonna be dropping down, trying to save him by the IO. Not gonna be the case, and Vanscore is in trouble. He does have a relocate available, but Tether's on cooldown. He's not gonna be able to do anything. Oh, and the Leshrag self heals right on time. He's gonna be denying himself, making sure that Sedoi is not gonna at least get the kill. And now Sedoi is gonna be getting himself back to the base, trying to. Well, the un undisjointable Mystic Snake is not gonna be killing him as he gets healed up. Now Vanscore is gonna be back in, the, in it as uh, he went for the relocate back to base, trying to heal up Slaughter, and uh, he's gonna get killed. So they will still get four for one, I believe, as the Sh Le Shrek is the only one dropping down, and you can even you can items get, getting him some HP, uh, HP, sorry if I can speak. Now Flo getting spotted out, Medpum, oh, going for the stun, he's gonna get hit, but uh, Medpum just doesn't want to go too deep. Now Fervian going in for the diffusion charges onto Tamer while doing a lot of damage, Medpum is gonna get killed by Fervian, as uh, Sedoi does get lassoed up, did get the BKB charge used, but I'm not sure that's gonna be a good thing, as uh, that's gonna be a BKB charge used, and he's maybe gonna be dropping down as Flo goes for the chase, and he's gonna be able to kill Armored Talk, not really gonna be on point, as he's gonna be dropping down, now going for a uh, gun and respawn, goes away for the blink, and now in the meantime we do have elements with the ledge track going forward, gonna almost get the kill onto the slash low bristle back, but he gets relocated out. They have walls and all that good stuff. Lishrag with the soul booster being picked up. He still has enough bloodstone charges that having buyback isn't really going to be his main concern. And uh, Medusa? Yeah, we have already been through what he had. So, uh, you know. The relocate gang happening. Ricky is going to be the first one dropping down. As Vansko goes in for the relocate, making sure that uh, if Elements works to take that fight, they were going to be ready with the full force of flip side. Um, now they do have the Aegis available on the Slaughter once again, and he's getting pretty tangy, he has 2000 HP, he obviously does still have that BKB ready, but now in the mid lane, we do have the swap being used, as so the lasso been used as well, getting back onto that pump, they're gonna go for it, Sedoi, with the BKB getting caught, he's almost killing Ricky, but Ricky getting the ultimate off, will survive for now, and now Sedoi dropping down, as the BKB does end, and he's gonna get killed, Pikachu doing so much damage, Tamar while trying to heal it out, trying to survive, Pikachu, Tamar Wild both trying to do a lot of damage and survive. And Pikachu is going to get the kill onto the Sedoi. Aegis will be popped, but Ledge Dragon is actually going to be the one getting killed. We're all going for the TP out as uh, he knows this is, this, is, this, is, this is a lost fight. They got a 3 for 3. Oh, they're not finding him, and now Relocate coming in from the IO. They're going to be trying to turn this around. They don't have the Exorcist, though Tamar Wild taking so much damage. 
Slot flow is here, Van Skull is here. Reload Kate save is gonna be the case. But is it going to be in time? He's going to be focused down. He's going to get killed off. Relocate saving us is not going to happen. The DP is dead as well. And now Sadoi with the BKB charge once again used. It is going to be ending. He's going to take some chip damage. Not going to be able to blink away. And he is slowly but surely dropping down as Slash Rag. He lost some Bloodstone charges early. And he's like, I want to have them back. And now he's back on to 14. That's going to be three people dropping down from flip side. The last big... They don't want to be committing any buybacks if they can be forced not to. Slada is going to be the one doing that. And now Pikachu getting focused down as the Doi pops the BKB instantly. 5 second BKB lasso up as, as it happens. And now he's going to get stunned up by the stone gaze as well. BKB has ended. And that means that it is uh, Pikachu's time to shine. Static Storm will come up. Exorcist will be used as Pikachu going in trying to do as much damage as possible. Bansko almost dropping down. Will be surviving for now. And now they strike doing a defensive. Um, he will set that now. Offensive will set from the DP trying to go on him. And now it is going to be Tamer while getting focused on. They want to be able to kill him off. Pikachu with the ultimate doing so much healing to him. Not going to be dropping down so far. He's going to try to survive Tamer while taking so much damage. This is, a, this is a party between the two mid heroes. As another defensive tool will be used from Pikachu. Keeping himself alive for now. Sadoi will be dropping down. Now Pikachu so low. Is it going to be happening? No it is not. And he's going to be going for the suicide. So a five-man wipe on the side of elements, one of them being a suicide on the Lesh Rag. But flip side, they hold. They hold in the fight. And that is going to be a 3k net worth swing to the side of flip side. Mid lane with the Slash getting gone on. But that's quite, pretty much not the theory you want to be going on as he is so goddamn hard to kill. He's going to get lassoed back. He's going to get focused down as Bristleback. Doing so much work, surviving for so long. And then he's now going to get swapped to safety as Pikachu really wants to be able to kill this guy. He's going to get Glimpse back to the fray and this guy, Glimmer caved up. He's still surviving as he's been able to do so much work here. So many people almost dropping down from the side of Element. Fairman is going to get killed by Sadoi's initiation. And now we're all going for the ultimate, going for the attempt onto Tamar while defensive eels will be used. And he's going to be continuing to take so much damage. Pikachu is dropping down a little bit too quick than he wants to. Tamar while still alive and now, but it's going to finally drop down. Maybe... Yeah, and he's now dead. Sadoi taking a lot of damage. He doesn't have the BKB available. He's going to go for the Slytherin Crush. Pikachu going for the chase, but he doesn't have any more mana available. He's going to go for the Lightning Storm and is going to get the kill with that. So enough mana to get the kill in the end. That is going to be four dead on the side of Flipside as once again the fighting skills have turned. As if Elements is going to be the ones winning this fight. And the 2000 gold going towards them. Slash low. He was split pushing away. So. I was just, you know, keeping Tim a while back, I guess you can call it. But uh, now Pikachu needs to be careful when he's rotating back to the mid lane. As uh, he could easily be, he get caught out. And now Tim a while is going to get gone on. We do have in the back lines, I guess, Sadoi going for the initiation. Finding B finding the bad rider. That's going to be the first one dropping down. Method is going to be dropping down on side of flip side so far. One for one trade. Sadoi going in, popping his BKB, going on to Furvent, trying to do the damage there. Pikachu, we all doing damage. Ultimate being used by the Medusa. And now defensive he'll step the onto the DP, healing so god damage for the Arcturian Core. And now Sadoi fighting up against the Medusa. And Lech Rag is down for the count. Now that's going to be the bashes happening onto Medusa. Medusa, one man army, but he's not going to be able to take this fight. As that is going to be Elements losing every single person. Tame our Wells Arcturian Core healing is going to be a little bit too much. The Lech Rag cannot compete with. He's being picked up as well. As uh, it is going to be the Bristleback taking that, so he has that value like 2500 extra HP, meaning that he's virtually sitting on 6000 HP, like in effect. And now, swap will be used by Medpump. Medpump is going to get killed as Tamer Wild is going to get saved for now. Static Storm will be used, but that's only going to really be sewing away the IO. IO now going for the relocate save potentially, but he's just going to be waiting. He's actually going to go for the save onto Sadoi. And he's going to get relocated out as uh, Sadoi almost dropping down there. Now Tamer Wild is going to get focused down. Sadoi as well as the IO isn't there in the fight. So Tamer Wild is going to be focused down. And now Glimpse back onto the Slash Low. Slash Low does have the cheese available. No more mana left on him. And Van Skull taking so much damage will get killed. IO not going to be able to heal anyone. Sadoi taking a lot of damage as well. BKB will be popped. He's going to be trying to get his ass out of there. As, uh, obviously BKB at this point is just a cooldown. As he does, this back could be happening. They do see Slash Low and they're going to be taking him. But that is the tankiest here. You brought back to the party. Maybe not the one you wanted. And in the meantime, we do have a swap being forced out with the lasso from the battle run in the back lines. Swap used by Metcom. And now Slash Low no more mana to work with. So he could easily be zoned out as uh, he only has the running speed he can work with. And uh, he's going to get followed. 
He's gonna get glimpsed back once again into the fray. Pikachu doing some damage. Bansko being focused down. He does have the tether available and the relocate save has already been attempted to be used by the looks, but uh, I guess they got cancelled. It's gonna be two dead on the side of flip side as Bristleback drops down, Mepum drops down, and no one dies on elements. So once again, it is them who's gonna be the ones on the pushing side. That's uh, they're just gonna be quickly checking the Roshan situation, but uh, mainly looking to go into the bottom lane as Tamer Wild is getting focused on but by elements and he's taking so much damage he's gonna get killed off. No exorcism means that the insane healing power of the Octarine Cole is not gonna be ticking in. That's gonna be the DP down for the count. No buyback for two minutes. This this pick on buyback, Sadoya is having his buyback available as well. Goes in for the double stun. Trying to buy some time, and now Slasho, the man on a mission, going for the tank units, going in, trying to fight. Ultimate being used by Riol, doing a lot of work. Pikachu taking a lot of damage in the backside, but he's gonna be fine for now, as the amplified damage makes him able to take so much damage. But the healing power is gonna be coming out as well. Pikachu will drop down finally, as the he can easily buy back, and yet that he will, as they wanna be able to take this fight, and know that they are gonna be able to win it. And now Sadoi gets gone on, almost dropping down, will finally die out, as Battle does die as well. And now the buyback that's gonna be the third buyback on the side of elements and now Pikachu back in the fight doesn't want to be over committing pops his ghost set and Sadai is not gonna be able to take him down buyback on Sadai was also used and they just need to continue to buy time we always gonna get focused down maybe the one dropping down as he's gonna be killed as Medusa down for the count nope he does have buyback available actually but now Pikachu getting chased down, buyback onto the Medusa. They want to be able to take this fight. They know that if they lose the Leshrac, this is going to be it. And now, Flo back in the fight. Leshrac back in the fight, trying to kill off some people. That Pum is going to be dropping down. And now Flo trying to zone them out. As they want to be continuing to take this fight. Vansko taking so much damage. The Doi is still alive. Slash Flo never dead. He was the first one using the buyback. And he's going to be the one taking the kills. As Battle Run is going to be the one dropping down, no more buyback on him. We do have the Medusa getting gone on Pikachu, trying to TP out, will succeed. But can Riol survive, can Riol escape? That's going to be that's going to be the question as Doi, he's on the hunt. He wants to be able to get the kill, he's going to get the crush on him. He's going to be starting to bashing onto him, the bashes will be committed. And Riol slowly but surely will drop down. That's a buyback on cooldown for two minutes. As flip side, you can see the drawing coming out from Medpum. He's like, guys, this is it. We can win this game and elements so many buybacks used look at this net worth change i mean both sides actually are having a negative change but 8000 gold used on the side of elements so many